Hey there, my name is Deandra and I just want to talk about something for like a minute. As I speak into this microphone, it is Pride Month, which is a time for celebrating the LGBT plus community and also for brands to feign allyship in ways that won't potentially alienate those who aren't in support. I love Overwatch and today they added a player icon called Rainbow. I was one of the first people to make a tweet about it and a lot of people were very negative upon seeing it, but not because they're homophobic. Personally, as a member of the LGBT plus community, I am very underwhelmed with what we got here. Often it feels like if you are a LGBT plus person and you aren't satisfied with representation you get, there'll always be one person who's like, oh my god, who cares, nothing will make you happy, which really isn't the case and also kind of frustrates me personally because striving for improvement isn't like, it's not a bad thing. So, what is my personal issue with this icon? Well, one thing you should know is that the icon is not called Pride, it's called Rainbow. This may not seem like anything, but it means that the icon comes with a plausible deniability, which makes me feel like Blizzard are doing this because they want to look like a good ally without putting the effort in. It's like them throwing us scraps and being wink wink, nudge nudge, hey we recognise you but we also don't want to upset this other group, which fair, they can do that, but I'm not going to praise them for it. There's also another flag called Progress Pride, and you may like this, you may not. There's many arguments both for and against it. Whatever your personal opinion on it is though, you cannot deny that it makes the statement incredibly clear. This cannot be misinterpreted like Rainbow can. I recognise that the LGBT plus community is still a really tough subject for some, and I'm sure that even getting this icon into the game at all wasn't an easy process. I don't doubt that there are LGBT plus game developers out there that want to be doing more. However, it just it feels like time and time again, Overwatch players just get so much less than other games. And in this specific instance, it's just a JPEG. We're not asking for like a character to be reworked or rebalanced or anything. For example, Apex Legends has an icon called Pride that players would immediately see upon logging in, while Overwatch's Rainbow was just quietly added to everyone's inventory as if it was being snuck in. Paladins has multiple Pride flags for player icons, League has trails and themed icons, Valorant made your water supply gay. A single rainbow looks minuscule in comparison, and do I think those other games are particularly groundbreaking? No, but it's more than the bare minimum. For me, there's a couple of different things I'd be happy with. For starters, call it pride, that's the least that they could do. Second, consider adding more flags. Hell, if they want to stick with just the rainbow, then maybe do something like the golden anniversary icons. Another thing that I do think is important to note is that Blizzard never really stated they were doing much for Pride. A streamer asked in the content creator discord if Blizzard was doing anything, a staff member replied with yes, and they made a tweet about it. Unfortunately, I think a lot of people, myself included, maybe built this up to be a bigger thing than it actually was. And that's all from me. Apologies for like audio recording quality and stuff, my room is so fucking hot. Thanks for watching, and uh, be wary of the comment section, because it's probably going to be dog shit. <laughs>